Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this just happens to be my 401 Corel Draw video. And uh, I've kind of run out of ideas to do, so I thought I'd just start doing some quick tips. Some of these I've done before, but never all together in a you know series like this. So number one, if you needed to find out what your page is, which is right here, but if you needed to change it, Instead of going up there and changing that, you can just get on the border, double click, and there's your custom page. You know, you can change a lot of things that you can't change right there. And, well, you can probably change most of them. But you can't change the dot point per inch, which I don't see how that would matter. But you can change that and press OK, and you can do that. If you wanted to draw a, a rectangle the same size of your page, you go to the rectangle tool and just double click it and it draws a rectangle the size of your page. We'll take that away. If you need to uh, pick everything that's on this page, you can double click it, the pick tool, and it's, it's selected everything that's on the page. So instead of lassoing Let's just take that away. Instead of going down here and lassoing everything, you can actually just double click your pick tool and get it to pick that. If you've got a bunch of text written and we can tell it's text by right down here, it says, well, right up here, it says Arial and tells you the size on that, on that particular text. But if you want to select it, if you want to select all the text, you can double click on the text tool. And now they're all selected, so you don't have anything written here anymore. And then you can very easily go up to object, convert them to curves, or you can hit control Q. Now the, the only reason I could see this would be kind of neat, so let's don't do it right now. Let's say you had a another object in here that was not a text. So you could double click this and now go control Q. Now all your text is a curve because of the fact that you can't, you, you don't have any, it's just a curve on one layer, but you've still got the rectangle and it's not a curve because it only put curves onto the text. One of my favorite keys, well, two of them, is the F4 key. Right at any time, hit the F4 key, and it's going to bring up everything that is written on or off the page. I use this a lot because by doing this, it's showing me that there's something below here. Well, if you look right there, I drew a little bitty line, not visible really. I, I can see it because I drew it. But uh, let's take that away. Well, let's do it again, F4. Now let's take this away and hit F4 and see the difference. Now it's from top to bottom, My um, everything that's on my page. And so if you had something way over here and you hit the F4 key, it's going to show you that. I use that a lot because I sometimes I'll be drawing way off the page. All right, let's group all this stuff together. So let's double click the pick tool, control G. Now everything's grouped together. And it says right down here at the bottom, group of nine objects on one layer. But let's say I want to move this one rectangle or square. Hold down the control button and one time you get to pick that and you can move it a little bit and when you let go, it is still in the group. My other favorite key, let's ungroup everything and a, probably a key that I use the most is the P key on, this, on your keyboard because it'll put things in the center of your page. I draw almost everything in the center of the page. And just keep in mind, and I've done this before, 
let's just grab this one. When you're grabbing and you can't go, do I have the star or do I have the, the square? Because it almost looks the same. Let's click off there and get the square. It almost looks like the same, the handle. But right down here, it's going to tell you star with five sides. Let's click off of it. Click on this, the rectangle. Anyway, those are nine quick tips. Hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.